Today, I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be the easiest way to make money in the sports card market right now. Now, before we get into that, I did want to say a little bit about our membership program because our membership program has been doing very well. Most recently, one of our great picks has been that on May 24th of last year, we recommended Jordan Poole's Prism Silvers and a PSA 10 for $160. Um, as you can see right now, there the last sale is $762. They went as high as $900. $89. Um, so one of our many great picks, if you guys would like to join in and make some money with us, um, you can click the link down below to sportscardsinvest.com um, and get yourself a membership. We offer memberships all the way if you have a budget of $10 or if you have a budget of say $100,000. So it kind of ranges. So if you would like to join, the link is down below. But without further ado, we will hop right into this video. Um, so essentially the place that I see a lot of room for growth right now um, and room to make money is with players that are popping off, um, had great games, their prices are going up. Um, however, it sometimes takes a lagging period for all of their cards to go up. Um, so as you can see with Luka Doncic right now, um, we're seeing a lot of his cards really start to uptick in price. Um, as you can see, a lot of his cards are up between 11 and 18% depending on the card. Um, I personally believe that most of his valuable cards um, you know, are kind of up around 10 to 15% in the last week or so. Um, now, however, if you go through all of his cards, there are going to be some of his cards that have yet to really react to this. Um, and a lot of these are going to be with his lower population cards. Um, so his Prism Silver is a key rookie card of his. Um, it went as low as around 2100, 2200. Um, and now it's back up to 2500. So say that's around a 15% increase. Um, now, if we look at, for example, like his Optic Purple um, or some of his other cards that are a little bit less, I would say, mainstream, um, as we can see, we're starting to see some big sales on here. Um, so we're seeing this card go up all the way to $500. That is a 33% rate of growth. Um, so we're seeing a, most of his lower pop cards go up by at least 20%. Um, now, if you go through all of his different lower pop cards, you're going to see some, um, you know, that haven't really started to increase yet and that is usually simply because there hasn't been a new sale um, so if you're able to get any of his lower pop cards at the same price as his last sale um, now of course his optic red there may be not as many sales um, so that may be a little bit of a tougher one to go for um, but you know there's so many different cards that you can you know try to identify that haven't gone up as much um, his pops 654 um, Prism Green has only gone up 16%, um, so that is potentially some good opportunity um, because it's PSA 9. So if you just essentially compare the rate of growth um, for a lot of his lower pop cards, you're going to see that some cards have yet to go up as much as others. Um, now, if we look at his overall index, it's up around 15%. Um, so if you're getting cards, you know, for example... In my opinion, if I was going for a card right now, I would go for a card like this, his blue, yellow, green. And if I can get that card with a seller, um, you know, and try to negotiate a price about around the last sale, um, I assume that the price of this right now is roughly 7200 to 7500 is the true value of the card. Um, now, what I mean is that, you know, it's yet to see the increase because there hasn't been a sale, right? Because there's only 72 cards of these. However, Luca's market has gone up 15%. So I'm assuming this is a $7,500 card right now. Um, yet if I can get it, at $6,000 negotiating using this last sale, I can make a $1,500 margin um, because I'm getting it at the last sale when its market's gone up 15% since. Um, so this would be a very good example of something that I would be going for. Um, so if I can get that at 6,000 or even 6,200 or 6,300, that is a very good buy right now. Um, now there's so many of these different cards. Um, it's tough to find ones that you know, are kind of sitting there. So one that I'd really look after would be his fast brick prism, right? So this card is in fact down 19%. Um, we can see the last sale was 8,600. Now I assume that given Luca's market has gone up 15%, the next time this card sells, 
it's going to be over $10,000. Um, I assume it's going to be around 11,000, um, 10,500 to 11,000. So if I'm able to use this last comp of $8,600, whether at a show or on eBay, you know, offering people the last comp, um, you know, if anyone takes it, you essentially can make a good 15% um, by just essentially buying that card at last comp and the next time it sells, it should go up. Um, so that is essentially what I kind of feel is the greatest way to make money in the market right now. Um, you can do it with a lot higher end cards if you want you know, lower end, low population cards, you can probably find those as well. And I'll give you guys a few examples shortly. Um, but cards like this, you know, I believe that right now this card is above the March sale. Um, I think this card right now is around a $28,000 card. Um, you know, based on my experience, based on Luca's market, I think this card's around $28,000. Um, if I was at a show, I would be using this comp um, to be asking you know, offering 18,000, offering $20,000 to people. Um, and there are people who will take it just because the last comp is 20.4K and they've yet to really understand that this card is in fact not worth 20.4K anymore. Um, now, if you want a little bit lower, um, you know, I guess cheaper options. Um, there are some lower pop options for Luka Doncic um, that are still pretty cheap. Um, it is a little bit tougher, but for example, as Hyper is a great buy. Um, I know if you, you know, for example, can't afford the PSA 10, if you go for a PSA 9 Hyper, um, so these have already started to see some growth, um, but I still think, you know, if you can find those cards that haven't seen that quite yet, um, you know, you can make a lot of money. It's PSA 10 right now um, is around 2400 dollars which is down from where it was you know for the longest time i think the true value of this should be a at least 3,600 right now. Um, now, if you can use that last comp to get one around 2,400, even 2,600, um, you know, you can make a good amount of money doing that, just flipping it real quick. Um, so I definitely recommend you guys take a look. Right now, the guy who I'm looking at is Luka Doncic, just because people weren't expecting him to beat the Suns. So his cards are up quite a lot. Um, but there's going to be so many different options um, throughout the playoffs. I think Tatum could be another one. Um, you know, if they are able to beat the Heat, and his cards start to go up, going for his lower pop cards um, that haven't really gone up as much could be a good idea. Um, but I really hope that this video kind of helped you guys out. If you would like to join in on the program, once again, the link will be down below. Um, but other than that, hope you all have a rest great rest of your day, and I'm out. Peace.